reason I'm doing installation work is I want to create an environment that looks as though or feels as though it's an imaginative space, but you're physically there, like touching and experiencing it. So this idea of the otherworldly or imaginative or fantasy into a physical reality. You can lower it, just like, oops, yeah, I guess it's, it's hard to get ourselves connected. Just hold it like that for a sec, yeah? Bring your left hand more in towards it, so let it overlap more, Brett, yeah, you're, yep, yep. Let's split this up. Okay, hang on, let it go. Okay, see if you could. Bring it more. Bring it more. Okay, okay, hold on for, for it, it, David, for me. Awesome. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. The whole composition was much more freestyle. You know, as we put one cell up, you know, see how that responds to the space, and the next one goes up, or a few pieces being hung up, and then adjusting according to how it wants to interact with the um, piece next to it. And, and it's been really great. The preparators here, yeah, the sure. installers, are all artists. So I've been getting a lot of their input and feedback. Oh, great. I like it. Yeah? If you look at it in a certain angle, it's almost it's not there like a glass, but it also has iridescent surface to it. So as it slightly turns, it goes from pearlescent all the way to reflecting all the spectrums of color. It's a plexiglass that has a dichroic film on it that allows this effect. So there are rigid objects accumulated into one larger unit and becomes organic, sinuous forms. It takes about seven hours to weld each unit, and each unit takes about 87 hours for a unit to be fabricated, so times 37. Chainlink is one of those materials that I think kind of works for this idea of demarcating or dividing space that is subtly there from the distance because you don't really notice the chain link fence because they're made with small gauge wires. But then when there's something stuck on that chain link fence, you notice that there's a, a boundary that divides up the space. My work often deals with this idea of liminal space or interstitial space. The thing about me is that I'm sitting here and I look at you and I know that I'm here, but there's this feeling that I'm always looking out from the inside out. So there's that feeling of the space in between. There's the, the physical reality and then there's the ideal reality. So trying to kind of balance between the two and that's how I think of liminal spaces. Creating artwork is try to kind of meet in halfway or to accept that separation. Yeah, the lighting really quite changes throughout the day. Climate, you know, time to time depends on the weather, late at night, so I hope that the viewer is able to kind of question those or recognize those subtleties that happens in the installation. The thing that I like about Rice Gallery is the whole front facade of the gallery is the glass. So when artists makes work, it's open for everyone, general public. You know, you see it and you're interested and you come in and I think it's very inviting. 